Okay, so this is <laughs> the progressive victory canvassing documentary. Progressive victory DGG canvassing documentary produced by one William A. H. Channel. <clears throat> yeah, the plush is back. <clears throat> you can see here Will's front and center in the thumbnail, the star of Progressive Victory. The main character of Progressive Victory. I know you're all here for this video. Everyone's been so excited, okay? So we're going to go in, review this video. Let's see what we think of Will's filmmaking. Once again, we love reviewing Will's filmmaking, don't we? It's a, it's a classic pastime around here, I think. Okay, let's skip the intro. Okay. So here's Will. He said, show us around. Show us around this high school gymnasium. This video is absolutely horrific. I may have seen a little bit of it. Let's, let, let's watch. Let's see. Hello, I'm Will. And let's not watch it on 2x speed. Let's watch it in all its, its true speed, it's all, all its glory. Hello, I'm Will, and this is my channel. Wow. Wow, immediately what's jumping out here, obviously we're here for Will, I, we need to talk about, talk about Will a bit. What's jumping out to me is all of the footage is totally, you know, handheld. It, it The camera is shaking and all of this footage is slightly nauseating. Jesus. Oh, Lego head. Oh, the man, the the man himself, Snaggletooth. Look, look at him. He's looking beautiful, isn't he? I've had my fair share of criticisms about online poll in the past. Most oh, and the audio is mixed fucking horribly because it's a Will video, of course. Previous video called The Feudalist Hierarchy of Online Politics. But today, I want to shine a more positive light on this topic because, frankly, there's not too many people in the online politics space that can generate, I mean, getting this many people out of their houses and, you know, coming out and do something positive. Well, don't you guys wish you were there to play? Don't you wish you were playing Magic the Gathering at this table right now? Don't, don't you wish? Me and my lovely girlfriend, Roxanne, set out Thursday before the event. I hate him. I hate him. I genuinely, I hate this guy so fucking much. Me and my, me and my lovely girlfriend, Roxanne. Me and my lovely girlfriend, Roxanne. <laughs> God, I've seen him red. Me and my lovely girlfriend, Roxanne, set out Thursday before the event from San Diego and landed in Cincinnati shortly after a 12 He's so corny. Event. He's like a fucking fake per. He's a fake person. This is just all what, what he thinks he should be. It's like an imitation. Me and my lovely girlfriend, Roxanne, set out Thursday before the event from San Diego and landed in Cincinnati shortly after a 12-hour layover in Denver. This, so many film students are like this, man. Just totally manufactured personalities. It's crazy. Thanks. Never doing that again. When we landed, we were picked up by none other than Lycan and Lauren De Laguna having an excellent debate about whether or not black people are more likely to be criminals because they are black, as well as whether or not trans identity is a mental illness. You can guess everybody's opinions on that. Upon arriving at the stream... Wait, what? what, what we sorry, I tuned that for a moment there. Denver. Yikes. Never doing that again. 
When we landed, we were picked up by none other than Lycan and Lauren de Laguna having an excellent debate about whether or not black people are more likely to be criminals because they are black, as well as whether or not trans identity is a mental illness. You can guess everybody's opinions on that. <laughs> Upon arriving at the streamer house, yikes. me and Roxanne <laughs> dropped our That's gonna be a, a, a yikes from me, dog. <laughs> That's gonna be a yikes from me, dog. <laughs> I can't believe she said that. Can you believe what Lauren de Laguna said? She said that... <laughs> started charging and took a long needed rest. Later that day, I met someone who has become a really good buddy, Jeff, otherwise known as Destiny's cameraman on DGG. Jeff has been helping Steven's team do live streaming at their IRL events, including the Change My Mind events in Texas, Pennsylvania, and Maryland, Mindsfest in New York City and Austin, the Milo debate, and most um, recently that happened. the event in Georgia. Um, that happened. Guy, and we had a blast palling around talking about nerdy AV stuff. Hello, this guy. For the live stream and recording in the streamer house, in addition to the debate with Ian Crossland on Sunday. Not so erudite organized most of the logistics of the event and brought out a bunch of the community's favorite streamers to come and show support for canvassing in Ohio. Wick super chatted $4.99. $4.99 from Wick, so. Ah. That's my shaft. Ha. You can touch it. If you'd like. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Wait. One minute. Yo, Jimbley's uh, donation didn't come through. I was watching Nightcrawler today, and I realized that it's you. You're Lou Bloom. You're literally Lou Bloom, but in the most homosexual way. And Food Shops is Rene Russo. You're a Gaylord Chaser, Lou Bloom. I love you. Thank you, Jimbley, for the 22.3 <laughs> to fill up the bar. I met a lot of the Orbiters that day, as well as getting more familiar with some of the characters that surround the Destiny Sphere. Pixie, Irrelevant, I'm Really Important, Wicked Supreme, Counterpoints, Loner Box, and Dylan Burns, to name a few. Everyone was incredibly nice and fun to talk to in person, and this time, I didn't get sent away by Wicked Supreme. Will, you're getting kicked off the island. I, I lost track of what was going on here. Let's run it back. Mind events in Texas, Pennsylvania, and Why Maryland, is he even bringing this Mindsfest up? Mindsfest in New York City and Austin. Try and live it down. The Milo bro. debate, and most recently, the canvassing event in Georgia. Absolutely solid guy, and we had a blast palling around talking about nerdy AV stuff while we were setting up for the live stream and recording. In we, the we, we had an absolute blast talking about nerdy AV stuff. We had an absolute blast. We, me and the crew had an absolute blast talking about nerdy AV stuff behind the cameras, away from everyone else, where we were told to stay. In addition to the debate with Ian Crossland on Sunday. Not so erudite organized most of the logistics of the event and brought out a bunch of the community's favorite streamers to come and show support for canvassing in Ohio. I met a lot of the Orbiters that day, as well as getting more familiar with some of the characters that surround the Destiny Sphere. Pixie, Irrelevant, I'm Really Important, Wicked Supreme, Counterpoints, Loner Box, and Dylan Burns, to name a few. Everyone was incredibly nice and fun to talk to in person. Gee, gee, we, time... had a, we had a great time talking about no DAV stuff. Gee, we had a great time palling around talking about no DAV stuff. I didn't get sent away by Wicked Supreme. Will, you're getting kicked off the island. After getting things settled and making the rounds chit-chatting, me and Roxanne prepared for the next day, itinerary in hand. After a cursory glance, yes, the day lies. seemed pretty <clears throat> typical. But then I noticed something on my sheet. This, this is the Will who was in Spicy Chat last night saying that uh, The Fountainhead is his favorite book of all time and that it should be any artist's Bible. So that's this guy, yes. called a himbo photo shoot. I've seen, I see, I've just seen that bug. I'm not sure, can I show this on stream really? I, I'm very worried about like the speech bubble coming from Brown and Woo there. This is a bit much, isn't it? <laughs> Guys, I'm going to show it. I'm going to... Bugs made like a porno-inspired DVD cover for Will's documentary here. Okay, I'm going to show it, but... I'm not going to read too much of it off.
A gym inside the night and walked on sex tourist, a toothless cock, a fresh meat manipulator, and some other sped deck to the streets. And tick all the right boxes. <laughs> this is so crazy. Me, Roxanne, and Jesus Jeb hopped in his Christ. whip and headed off to the venue and gathering place for the canvassers. An old church that had been retrofitted into a community center by a local woman from Cincinnati. The canvassers poured in and the amazing... Food shops super chatted $4.99. $4.99 from food shops, Will wishes he was Wendigoon, but he's stuck behind the scenes like me, but I'm making 20x he ever will on YouTube, it's so funny. Jesus, thank you for the 499 Max. Thank you, thank you. Amazing folks at PV got to work training them. And I was surprised by how many people kept flooding through the doors of the auditorium. In total, over 300 people came out to canvas. After a few hours of shooting and talking with the canvassers, I made my way to the sanctuary of the church to do something rather unexpected. I committed a blasphemy. Who is it? It's the plumber. Plumber? I didn't call him. Oh, God. So it turns out a himbo is the masculine derivative of the word bimbo. I walked into the sanctuary oh, and saw dear. the workers lined up and dressed to impress the many lusty DGGers out there on the internet. I was put to task posing and taking calendar photos of DGG's favorite orbiters. Our relevant was the fan favorite. He made the women swoon and the men jealous. And who could blame him? The dude. Dude, for, yeah. like, I don't want to pause it's it either. So but Will's writing is horrendous. Will's writing is horrendous. I think Will's writing is actually the worst part of it. Make the women swoon and the men jealous. You fucking corny freak. You corny little freak. Everyone got involved. Wicked Supreme was showing off the skills of his past modeling career. Destiny to his chagrin joined in for a few group photos but quickly returned to his book. The camera couldn't yeah, get enough of liking. Ninja did not want- Dude, that Wicked did not want to be involved. Based, and a relevant honestly. motor box shot promo for their upcoming buddy. Okay, movie. okay, looking Dylan chill. Is my favorite shot of the day. Looking epic. In the final not, moments not of the like shoot, Wicked Supreme and Relevant Christ. took off their shirts to bromance for democracy. This was unexpectedly some of the most fun I've had in this uh, Wicked Super Chat is $1.99. $1.99 from Wick. Ha. I'm a himbo, y'all. Thank you for the 199. Look, Lona Box and, and Relly looking looking pretty fucking dripped out, NGL. However, as much as you know, it's fine to do. I, I've got no issue. You know the the Top Gun homoerotic calendar photo shoot, ironic calendar photo shoot. It's a classic workplace bit. A classic, you know. This is very nor. It's very normy. But just the way Will's written about it is so gross. Made the women swoon and the men jealous. You're such a corny little weirdo, dude. You're such a little gimp. And it was a pleasure shooting pictures for the upcoming DGG monthly calendar, which is set to be released sometime later. It's not too late. It is not too late for the Box to Mew. We should make this clip. Dude, what have I paused it on? This here. That is... No, oh, look at that little pube hair. Coming off to the side. That is just foul, isn't it? Look at look at his look at this. What is going on? He's got pubes coming up. Full monobrow. Oh, that is not good. Towards the end of the shoot, a fan brought out a flag that he made with Destiny's face on it, and Steven signed it along with the other orbiters. All in all, this was a hilarious project. I just hope I don't go to hell for debasing a church sanctuary. Everyone took a break for lunch before heading back to the streamer house to create content and interview some local politicians that were interested in the recent influx of canvassers coming to their state. After a few hours of streaming, the entire house went back to the church for community night, which was a blast. Everyone was genuinely excited to see fellow members of the community, the streamers, and have a great time IRL. Wick was making cotton candy for the canvassers. Wick, how are you enjoying your time at, at the...
I don't think should be eating any cotton candy. I don't think that sounds like a good idea. PGT canvassing event so far. Like, there is no better experience, right? I have experienced that does not sound like a wise idea. long, long life, but nothing compares to the bliss that it is to be at the DGG and Progressive Victory Canvassing House. My life is now complete. I can't think of a better way to spend my time than canvassing. Yeah, imagine, imagine you're about to go get cotton candy from this homeless shelter vibes like your brother's going to get your cotton candy you're serving of cotton candy and you see wick pronouncing s after s s after s going all over the fucking cotton candy pot dude i'm to i'm leaving the queue it's saving democracy with the coolest coolest people that i've ever met i love each and every single one of you yes romantically as well and if i get my way if I get my way, every day would be like this. Every day. But was he about to make a rape joke there? It seemed like he was about to make a rape joke there and he backed off and he couldn't stand on business. Complete. I can't think of a better way to spend my time than canvassing and saving democracy with the coolest, coolest people that I've ever met. I love each and every single one of you. Yes, romantically, romantically. as well. And if I get my way. And if I got my way. If I get my way, every day would be and like then, this. And he stops. I've ever met. I love each and every single one of you. Yes, romantically as well. Food shop super way, chatted one dollar and ninety nine cents. One dollar and ninety nine cents from food shops. Wick cotton candy equals cavities. Thank you for the one ninety nine. That's wild. That he was almost. He actually had to stop himself making a rape joke. He couldn't stand on business in the progressive victory promotional materials. Every single one of you. Yes, romantically as well. And if I get my way, if I get my way, every day would be like this. Every day. So if you haven't been canvassing before, the DGG and Progressive Victory Canvassing House, what are you doing with your life? Fix yourself. Check yourself before, as they say, you wreck yourself. Okay? I know that's what the kids are saying these days. Okay? Uh, okay. All right. Perfect. All relevant. Uh, how has the canvassing event been so far? Uh, really cool. I'm enjoying talking to the people. Um, when I came in Georgia, I was able to only talk with like a couple people. Now it feels a little bit more coordinated that I'm able to talk like feels like with everyone and anyone a lot more easily. So it's actually been really enjoyable. I'm None of the footage is steady. None of the footage is steady. I mean, people like come up to me and show like that's fun. Are you surprised? Yeah, Riley is dropped the fuck out. It's crazy. Rarely in Lone Box, but drip the fuck out. With like the turnout of this event? That is just, uh, yeah, that is I nuts. Am. It's like getting all these people here. A lot of people got a lot of energy. I actually like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. A lot of people come up and been like, oh my god, it's all relevant. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm literally surprised at the amount of people that even know who the hell I am. I'm like, I feel like I felt going into this, like maybe 10 people, 20 people would know who I am. But so far it's been like rapid fire, which is cool. The canvassing was really good. Most of the people I talked to were already <laughs> registered for uh, voting. Um, so that was cool. Um, they were all very really friendly. Um, I had a lot of fun. And, you know, this whole community is really great. Everybody's, like, actually dedicated to doing politics. Bro, I'd love to see an Italian farmer just jump on her head right now. Holy f Most of the people I talked to were already registered for uh, voting. Um, so that was cool. Um, they were all very friendly. Um, I had a lot of fun, and you know this whole. Oh my god! I fucking went back. I love you as friends and romantically, and if I can't get my day, well, every day I will be raping you. <laughs> Thank you for three fight three max. Take it easy. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Where's Stardust? Let's go back, hog. People I talked to were already registered for uh, voting, um, so that was cool. Um, they were all very friendly. Um, I had a lot of fun, and you know this whole community is really great. Everybody's like actually dedicated to doing politics, doing real life politics. So that's super cool. It was, it was dedicated to doing politics, doing real life politics. <laughs> So the one time you see Destiny involved in anything here, That's super and it's because cool. he's found something that vaguely resembles a video game that you can start doing. Uh, it's kind of like Factorio. This, this is kind of like League of Legends. Uh, 
Is that Turkey Tom? Might have been. All the streamers met at the venue and split into two groups. Although, were they Each together at the canvassing? I'm not sure. I was paired off with Dylan, Irrelevant, and Lonerbox, while Roxanne went with Pixie, Straight Raid, and Destiny. Something that surprised me was how little the people we met going door to door cared about big national issues. Most people were concerned instead with local issues like parking. I find it very important to go around and have these kind of flesh and bone interactions. Online dialogue is really vitriolic. It makes you extremely sad about your country and about the about the the, the tempo of rhetoric in this country. Uh, but a lot of that's just due to the algorithm kind of incentivizing that type of vitriolic rhetoric. So I think this is good for like human interactions. We had a few good human interactions today. Um, with some people who are really motivated to get out against Trump, other people really motivated by local issues like parking. Um, but I think the main thing that I like about it's being the, so kind of the first team to come out is we get to this take is it so all bad. The this uh, is the most nothing interviews ever and just shaky. Food shop super chatted so one dollar and ninety nine cents. One dollar and ninety nine cents from food shops. Becky, let it go. Your hog is aging into a granny. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Max. By the people who are just annoyed by engaging in politics, so that it's easier for the next guy. Tell us more about the person who was interested in parking, Dylan. Tell us more about the guy who was interested in parking? Yeah. Uh, so, apparently there's a local issue with parking in this area, and we talked to one guy, and he said it was Dude, parking. They, they, it's so crazy how much we'll talk this up, and it's so shit, man. But all he said was parking. I mean, we knew it was going to be like this, like, oh, okay. And so we respect that, of course. We don't want to pressure these guys. We don't want to try to bull- Hello. <laughs> Fuck! Will. And this is my channel. Noid. Fuck! Good video, King. Big ops. This is cringe as fuck. Bro, this canvassing event is a pasty... Is literally a pasty white cock fest. You can call me a hater, but you can't call me a liar. <laughs> Great vid, vid, Will. What a fantastic thumbnail. They should have brought a Vosh slash Hassan Pinata. Well, Vosh one of the organizers, so. DGGL. Trump will win. Have a comment for engagement. Bump for Algo. Also, good video. Nice. Like this comment. Sad though, Mr. Hio. Can't wait for New Jersey slash New York. They're just irrelevant. Cocksucking. Fair. SD. And then Ethan Stately. Personally, I'd have I would have started handing out leaflets about the destiny report. I'm a one issue kind of guy. He won. By engaging in politics so that it's easier for the next guy. Tell us more about the person who was interested in parking, Dylan. Tell us more about the guy who was interested in parking? Yeah. Uh, so apparently there's a local issue with parking in this area. And we talked to one guy, and he said it was parking, but all he said was parking. He didn't want to give us any more information. He was like, oh, okay. And so we respect that, of course. We don't want to pressure these guys. We don't want to try to bully them. And then another person talked to a different canvassing team, and they explained more about the parking issue. So then we found a trend, which now we can give to local leaders, which they can then bring back to the community come the election season. We can answer the needs of the people here, which I would love to see. I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, the only thing that was fighting me was the weather because my hands got so cold. But, it, I mean, it was cool engaging with some of the people. A lot of them, every time, man, they, there's some people that are just really receptive and they got more to say. Like, they'll come out and be very personable and they'll be smiling and happy to see me. Now, He's, it's disco Elysium music, isn't it? Like Jimbo said, I'm pretty sure that is just disco Elysium music. He plays video game music for his fucking background in his, his canvassing documentary. Democratic canvassing documentary. Never seen that in my life. You'd think if you were knocking on a door, nobody wants to see you. Mm -hmm. What was um, one of the best conversations you had today? What did you guys talk about? Man, it was probably the uh, the guy with his dog. Yeah, for sure. He was like talking about how if Trump gets elected, he's moving to Iceland. <laughs> yeah, he's like, nah, I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. And he we went back and forth and stuff. Yeah, and we got the uh, we got his contact information. So the pilot house is in the area. We're working with locals, we're trying to get volunteers. He was super excited, super interested. He's like, oh, I used to write postcards. I used to do phone banking. Mm -hmm. So he's a great guy to, we took down his contact information. We'll reach out if we need anything. So it's a, a good hit. Yeah. Would you guys recommend that uh, the next time there's a DJG canvassing event that these viewers come out? But yeah, I mean, it's just a lot of fun with the uh, hanging out with people, just like having people heck be yeah. able to just- Heck yeah, well, heck yeah, come out, get out the vote, guys. And, and you know, experience just chilling 
and then also the poles, being guys. able to like do something good while you do it. Like just yeah. while go we all been to we've the polls, Alicia, and just like talking to each other and just enjoying are each other's company and then while we're doing it we're knocking on doors so it's yeah. like a social thing well so they've got the evangelion music in the in the other ad don't they so what we saying was it was it goes to the pole shinji you know what i'm saying you're just hanging out and then you're also doing something chill yeah you're, you're learning new skills building up like social stuff building up political skills and then it, we we joke around that it's tgg con but like the community here the people here community night last night there's just like cotton candy there's popcorn yeah. there's games there's board games card games people are playing oh, smash in the corner people brought <laughs> monitors to the venue Sorry. it's just uh it's a just a uh, great asshole. it's a great time this made me realize how little people outside of the online political bubble pay attention but you guys are just you guys want me to be mean you guys want me to just tear this apart and hate them for having having fun don't you you guys are you guys are terrible or care about what is happening with national politics let's face it we primarily view the political landscape through a computer screen and it was nice to be brought down to reality to remember that there are people out there who don't care about who's going to be president but god damn it they need more parking i found this both reassuring and deserving of further contemplation the last place that the streamers canvassed was a short walk away from the streamer house so we all circled back to make some more content uh, we, we... Pathos, we will not be doing canvassing. We take uh, far more uh, drastic action, okay? After a couple hours, everyone headed back to the venue for the last time. There was a meet and greet with the orbiters, in addition to a vote going on for the award ceremony. After the final vote was tallied, everyone was led into the sanctuary. Everyone grabbed a seat in the pews for a debate against Ian Crossland from Tim Pool. This was probably the most full that the church had been in years, and it was packed wall to wall. The debate, unfortunately, was not that interesting. There were some real groaners. Yeah, the debate sucked. The debate sucked, he says, as he struggles to film it with a decent angle. Hands shaking, hands literally trembling in the presence of destiny. But my hypothesis Destiny is that we've been Wick. under some sort of the United States has been under a slow coup for like a hundred years. I don't know if you, I, and I'll tell you why I think this. Be on the up and up. I don't know. The problem is I don't know. Yeah, the debate sucks. Yeah, but I, the that. problem is I don't think you can ever know unless you personally go and inspect it. Because we're at a part right now where people are saying we can't trust anybody. I would trust the masses in, in general. Like if the code was open and six hundred million people around the world were like, yeah, that's legit, and here's why, then I would be like, okay. That would be that'd Yeah, but be then better. we return to the technical question. How do you make sure that code is running on every box? How do you know that code is running in your particular voting machine? Um, I mean, you could you could verify it on a on a Well, so you say how shit this debate is, and then you include an extended segment of it. Okay, thank you, Will. Thank on you so a machine much. By machine basis when you go in there, maybe you can get a printout of the soft the software code. Fortunately, the following Q&A was much more entertaining. Seeing DGGers that I communicated with at the event, and some even on my live stream, get a chance on the mic and ask Ian questions about his weird conspiracy theories about elections and blockchain technology. Food shops super chatted one dollar and ninety nine cents. One dollar and ninety nine cents from food shops. Demonic archetypes. NJF and Sneeko will win. Thank you for the one ninety nine. Thank you. Thank you. It was very entertaining. After the debate, I managed to pull Destiny away at the end and ask him a few questions about the canvassing event. So Destiny, what is it like to have a fan base that cares so much about you? Expected. I mean, I'm a really cool guy. These people need a father figure to look up to. And now that Andrew Tate's locked in prison, all they've got is me. If you had one message you could say to your fan base, especially all the people uh, He just does not give a like, total sarcastic answer to the world's retarded question. For today, to go canvassing, what would you say to them? Tier 5 sub. Tier 5 sub. Yeah. The highest dollar amount. Amazing. Uh, that, like, he's not even, he's just does not give a fuck. Memes aside, you know, what do you, how do you really feel about your fan base? You know, I think it's, it's really cool. Like, I like that um, the fact that they're so engaged politically is really cool, I think. The fact that I can mobilize as many people. To and, then, and now trying to desperately come up with some kind of answer, trying to give Will what he wants for his video. Come out and actually like go knock on doors and do a lot of real life political stuff. How how does it how does it feel to like go canvassing? How does it feel to like canvas? Yeah, yeah. Memes aside, please take me seriously. <laughs> it's so crazy. 
and for them to take time off of either work or school or whatever. I think it's really cool. I don't know how many other fan bases of my size could actually mobilize as many people to go and do stuff. So, Do you have any recommendations for other people that have um, growing online fan bases for what they could do so that they could get their audience to be more active in real life? Yeah, you just have to show that you care. Like, you've got to put in actual work into caring. You can't just be like, hey guys, remember to do this. Go click some links and blah, blah, blah. Like, you have to show that you care, that you want to show up and do events, that you want to, like, organize stuff. Um, and, and it has to be more than just lip service. Are there any content creators that maybe you would like to collaborate with in the future to do something like this? Uh, whoever wants to, I guess. I don't know. It depends. Like, I'm pretty open to working with almost whoever as long as we have some shared values. So, David Pakman. If you couldn't tell, everyone involved with the event had a great time. It was surprisingly wholesome and refreshing to see an online politics community like DGG gather in real life. This was Roxanne and I's first time canvassing, and we were grateful to get the opportunity to learn more about grassroots politics from the helpful and knowledgeable folks at Progressive Victory. I highly recommend to anybody that wants to get more politically active to come to DGG's next canvassing event. So not to help the progressive night. candidates elected, to come and see your fellow community members and streamers in real life and get oh, to know each other a God. little better. Once again, I'd like to make a special thanks to <laughs> Steven, Not So Wary Diet, Progressive Victory, and all the DGGers that I was able to communicate with over the weekend. Wasn't that last exchange over Pac-Man when Dave called him autistic? Yes. Uh, it was a blast exciting. hanging out, uh, and it was really fun to see the footage, yeah. capturing the feel of the event. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in future content. Wow. Wow, that's it. So much. Will had a great time. You got to meet all his heroes. <laughs> that was it. That was it. That was the whole thing. That was all. Took, yep, two months in the making, guys. Two months in the making. Bravo, Will. Bravo. Cinema. Martin Scorsese, cinema. Okay. <laughs> so goofy. I hate this guy. So, he's so stupid. Him coming to fucking spicy chat last night and saying the fountainhead should be every artist's bible please someone gives it give this fucking kid's head a wobble it's fucking great. 28 year old man 29 year old man food shops super chatted one dollar and 99 cents one dollar and 99 cents from food shops addy better destroy will so will says i don't own a gimbal and i like shooting on a tripod or handheld Plus, I was shooting for like eight hours a day. Have you set up a gimbal? The thing lasts like two hours max before needing a charge or more batteries. You have to rebalance it every time you take the camera off to put it on sticks. I think I'm going to buy a monopod. But he has like, a, doesn't he have like a $2,000 camera or something? And he can't afford like a $130 gimbal? And some fucking batteries? you crazy? Are you tripping? Come on now, Will. Come on now. Be serious. Once again, I will repeat what I said a month ago when Will posted his photos from this event and was talking about this video. He's a wedding photographer who can't take photos and a filmmaker who can't make films. This guy sucks. Food shops super chatted one dollar and ninety nine cents. One dollar and ninety nine cents from food shops. FYI, going to FPAC four. Hope to see some of you. Thank you for the one ninety nine food shops. See you at FPAC four.